Hi friends, Robin here from She's From Scratch. And in today's video, I'm gonna put you in my pocket, in my little overalls pocket, while I show you how to blood draw from a cow. So I have to do a pregnancy test, spoiler alert, I already did it. It was negative, oh darn. But I wanna show you how to actually um, do the blood draw and uh, because I know it can be a little bit confusing and it can be a little bit intimidating um, thinking that you have to do a blood draw off of your cow. So all sorts of different reasons you might need to do a blood draw. Maybe you need to, um, you're gonna do disease testing or you need to do a blood test for some sort of reason um, or if you need to pregnancy test your cow. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in just a simple way. I'm just gonna be doing it by myself in my setup here. Um, just they'll be in the head gate and um, just how I get it done when uh, you're just by yourself. So we are switching frames here just because I got to put you in my pocket. Right, so you're going to so be up and down frame. On Brie um, because I want to see if she is pregnant or not. So I'm using the IDAX Alerties on farm tests. These are only like 20 bucks a piece, maybe 15 bucks a piece. Pretty cheap um, way to figure out if your cow is pregnant. I've got alcohol wipes. I've got a three. Uh, CC or three mil um, syringe, as well as an 18 gauge um, needle that's one inch long. So you want it to be at least a half an inch long, uh, but one inch, a little bit more than half an inch actually, at least five eighths or something like that. And then um, one inch is kind of my favorite to go with that. Um, and then I'm also gonna grab a wet cloth to properly clean her tail off. So I've got a wet cloth my alcohol wipes now what i do to set myself up um because i'm by myself today um so i don't add do an extra hand is i um take the cap oops take the cap off your needle and then i just lightly put it on and i'm gonna put that in my pocket and then alcohol wipe open it up and i'm gonna use her back as kind of a table all right, so she is eating her grain there, just finished milking. Um, I've got my alcohol wipe on her somewhere is where it shouldn't fall. Now I'm gonna do what is called tail jack her. Um, so they don't like this, this is the worst part of it, but um, actually once you have them tail jacked, it's really hard for them to kick. It's actually something that people do um, to prevent their cows from kicking them, is they'll tail jack them if they have to do something, um, some sort of medical intervention. Um, so theoretically they can't kick, but like if where there's a will, there's a way they will kick you if um, you have to. Now it would be better if you had something right here to um, prevent them from going to side to side. That's the biggest struggle that I have with my setup is having them go side to side and then I can't actually get the needle in. Um, I have a really hard time with that with Annabelle and I have to have someone come and stand beside her so that she can't move to side to side because um, she just won't stop moving. Whereas Brie, usually she moves side to side a little bit, but then she's gonna stop afterwards. All right, so got my cloth here. First thing I'm gonna do is do a little clean. gonna kind of lift up on their tail here the kind of closer you are to the base the easier it's gonna be to clean all right so this right here is called the midline groove and so this is the vein lies between there and there is little vertebrae so if you feel along you can feel the little vertebrae and you can feel where the vertebrae aren't so I actually have a Sharpie here. That I wanted to use. So when I'm landmarking, just so I have an idea if I lose where I am, where I wanna put my needle. So I'm going right there is where I'm gonna go. Got my alcohol wipe, wipe it off. Still can see my little thing. And then grab my needle. No, they don't like this part. So be swift. Once you're in, pull back, get your blood and pull out. And then you can just hold some pressure if you need to. And all done. 
So it's simple as that. Good girl, Brie. And we've got our whole syringe of blood. All right, so I'm gonna make a little workspace for myself because my bench is kind of dirty here. Make a little workspace. So I just opened up the Alertis test. Um, in the package, you've got um, this little solution that's gonna help get the blood all the way to the lumen. Looks like a little human pregnancy test. And then you also have a little pipette um, right here. That this is how much blood you want to put into um, into the blood area. So this is the area where we're going to put the blood, and this is what is going to tell us how much to do it. There's directions right on the package on how to do it. All right, so it's been 10 minutes, and it's looking like not pregnant, but I got to leave it for another 10 minutes. I'm disappointed because I thought she was pregnant, but another 10 minutes, and then I'll know for sure. So I realized my tests were expired in June of last year, um, which was crazy because I think I didn't get them that long ago. Anyway, so I'm going to have to order new tests. I um, had an extra one, so I just like threw her blood in there too, just because I was so sure she was pregnant because um, I haven't seen any heats and she has really strong heats. Um, but we're getting on close to 20 minutes here for that first one. So, so it's 18 minutes, fairly clear negative on here. Even, I like to hold it up in the light. It's a little trick from human pregnancy tests, because if you see any sort of faint line, any sort of faint line, that indicates positive. I don't see any sort of line. Darn. We'll see what this one says. I'm gonna go give this bottle of milk to my baby but looking like she might not be pregnant oh darn all right moment of truth it's been about 20 minutes for my other test coming back to see and womp 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 not pregnant two tests oh i'm sad but we'll just try again all right, thank you guys for watching my video. So I just had to patch in this one little um, video of me milking because I didn't do a uh, closing clip for my video, but I just wanted to say that I did talk to someone over the weekend that said they didn't think it would matter that the tests were actually expired. So that was um, positive for me. So I feel like they probably were pretty accurate, um, especially because I did two of them. So I will, I did put some more on order, so they'll be here in next week or so, and I'll retest her with tests that aren't expired. I haven't seen a heat in her since January um, when we last AI'd her. So she has really strong heats, and it's abnormal not to see a heat in her. Um, but yeah, so whether she is pregnant and it was because the tests were expired or whether um, she's just not showing heat for whatever reason. So as I said in last week's video where I body condition scored my cows, my next phase for Brie is making sure that I get her calf weaned because she's feeding a nice big calf right now. And so I think that would help her to be able to show some heats more. So that's my next plan for her after I retest. Um, also just making sure that um, I'm feeding her a good balanced diet. Last week in the body condition video, she was a little bit lower than I wanted her to be. I'd liked her to be about a three on the body condition score. So I'm going to continue to work to build her body condition. But once her calf is weaned, that's going to be pretty simple. Um, minerals always, if you're ever having any problems with um, anything in your cow, you're going to be looking at minerals. She does like to um, eat our loose minerals. So I do see her hitting those every once in a while. Um, maybe could add some kelp into her diet. I'm going to add it for our other milk cow, Ella, anyways. So um, probably just add a little bit of kelp in there. And then and then if after all of that I'm still not seeing heats, then I definitely need to be talking to my vet about um, if she would be cystic or not. So that would be a conversation that I could have with my vet um, and that you would want to have if you had a cow that just wasn't showing heats at all um, and you couldn't pin down any other reason for it. So that's kind of the path I'm going to be leading over the next little while with Brie. Hopefully the next test I do is positive on her because that would be awesome. She is due to get pregnant here. So thank you guys for watching my video. If you haven't already, press like, subscribe, come back next Monday. I post a new video every single Monday and I would love to have you guys here. Keep okay, bye.